All right, hi guys. Okay, I'm speeding this through. So the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach children to write. Now this is more geared toward children who do not how to write alphabet at all. So for us, it's usually the taller stage, around two, two and a half years old. As soon as they know how to write circle, then that's when we, sorry, as soon as they know how to draw a circle, that's when we start alphabet. Just to let them know how close they are at going into the next step, like being a big kid. That's what we usually say, all right? So what the children normally do when they do circle is they just go around and around and around and around and around. So as soon as you see they are able to do that or they go up and down and up and down and up and down or a little squiggly, the squiggly I love the most. Why? It's because it tells me they have control or they're learning to control where they're going. So the one who is actually doing the squiggly with control, it tells me that they are very ready to write. If they just go ah uh, like this, like this, it's okay too. But we're just gonna start with a certain type of alphabet first, okay? So we're gonna start with the peep, the little kids who likes to do just circle, circle, circle. So those, uh, the alphabet, I usually don't like to follow starting with alphabet A to alphabet Z because um, alphabet A sometimes is very difficult for the children because they have to be able to slide down, meet up there at the point and slide down again. Some children do not have that hand-eye coordination to go all the way up to the top and go slide down again. So writing alphabet that has a circle shape is usually the first alphabet that I teach them and when they are able to write that they have a big sense of achievement and then when they do that it really builds on um for them it's it's it, it built on out of, sorry it, it helps them to write out an alphabet a little bit easier because they they already feel good about themselves and they're like well i know how to write five six alphabet already this shouldn't be so hard so once again so why i always do first for children who do circles i always just tell them go around and stop go around and stop make sure they can do the o Okay, so go around and, sorry, start from the top, go around and stop. So when they know how to write the O, I just let them do stop, stop, stop. Just write letter O, okay? The next day or next time, you're going to say, now we're going to write letter Q. So you just say, go around and stop. Now we're going to put a little tail, and that's letter Q. And we say, wow, now you know two alphabet. Next, what we're going to do is going to do letter C. So now we say, you go around and stop. Stop right here, letter O. It's like a letter C that wants to eat, okay? Or we just say a letter O that has a hole. So once again, going around and stop. Do not touch. We tell them do not touch. We just make mm, 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 like a cookie monster. So that helped them to remember. And sometimes I just say, hey, letter C, like that. Okay, this is letter O and this is letter C. So now we tell them, wow, now you know one, two, three, three alphabet. That's a lot of alphabet you know. Next alphabet we're gonna do is letter U. You go down and you go up. Because why we do that is similar to letter C and it's also similar to letter O, okay? So letter O, letter Q, letter C, and letter U. Next alphabet, when they can distinguish all this, next alphabet we do is letter D. Go down, make a line, and go around. One big giant bubble. So for the first probably two weeks, all you're gonna do is O, Q, C, U, and a D. And once you do that, you're gonna bring it on to the next step. I'm gonna say now, we're gonna go down, make a long stick. We're gonna make a small bubble. That is letter P. And after letter P, you're gonna say, we're gonna go down, now we're gonna give it one bubble and two bubble. This is letter B. And then you're gonna say, we're gonna go down, we're gonna make a small bubble, and we're gonna give letter P a little leg because he wants to kick a ball, all right? So that's all you're gonna do. Did I miss anything? Oh, I am so sorry, and letter G, okay? Letter G is in between week one and week two. Letter G is a little bit difficult, okay? The story that I have behind uh, letter G is a letter C that wants to go park the car inside the garage. So we will also teach the children because this requires a little bit more control. So we say, this is letter C who wants to park the car inside the garage. Stop, go up and park the car inside. G for garage. 
So those are the alphabet. Did I forget anything else? I think that's about it. Okay, so now the next step is alphabet that requires uh, just a little bit more uh, control because they need to be able to learn to write the line, straight line, straight line, okay? So only straight line, no slanted, slanted line except for letter Q and letter R. So straight lines are what? Letter E. Oh, sorry, let me just go back to the red. Letter E. Letter F. Letter I letter H, two stick, and build a bridge, letter I, letter L, and letter T, okay? Um, so those are the alphabet I would learn on the next step. Actually, you know what? I lie, let's do this first. Letter, I don't do letter I yet, letter L and letter T, okay? E, F, L, T. After they're able to do that, that's when I do the H, okay? There's a reason behind why I leave the H at the end. Reason being is because I, when I, when I teach the children, I notice that they have a really tough time writing letter A. So I always teach them how to write the letter H first. And then when they can write the letter H, I say, hey, all, the, all they need to do, all we need to do is touch, okay? But this time we're gonna go slide down, slide down, and go across, all right? So once again, I personally prefer teaching letter H first and then letter A, all right? Now, when they get better control of hand movement, that's when we do all the complicated ones. Sorry, I just wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. So letter I too, okay? Reason why letter I is a little bit difficult is the children need to make short lines. And many times they get carried away and they just make a big line. And then sometimes you will get frustrated or I'll get frustrated and I will tell them, stop, stop. So if they perfect the T, then you just tell them it's like a little T, make a small root. And it's a little small one at the bottom, okay? So I is a little bit later. So I felt that H-A-I is a little bit later. And then now we're gonna go on. Usually it's the last step over here where the children have a much more control with their movement and they can do slanted line okay that's when letter uh, k comes in okay let's stick going down zig zag and how i usually tell the children about doing a zigzag is put a little dot over here now we're gonna slide down and then we're gonna slide down like that having a dot in the middle really help them all right or usually if i have children who cannot do sliding down so what I normally do is I say dot here, dot here, dot here. Let's connect the dot. Slide down and slide down. That's letter K and letter M. So I would tell them M for mountain. Go down, jump to the top of the mountain, slide down, go up and go down. Go down the mountain, jump to the top, slide down, climb up, go down. And then now letter M. Go down the mountain, jump to the top, slide down, and go up. So this one requires a lot of zigzag lines, okay? Letter V is the same thing. Slide down, stop, and go back up. Letter W is two letter V together. So slide down, go up, slide down, go up, all right? And letter X, we're not gonna do letter X yet. It's a little bit difficult for them to do letter X. And then we're also gonna do letter Y. So letter Y, that, so these alphabet are the ones that I actually do the last, okay? It's gonna be letter Y. So I say letter Y is like a letter V and you add a little stick, all right? Letter V and then you add a little stick. And letter Z, sorry, letter, yeah, letter Z is the one that where the train will cross the railroad track. We're gonna slide down and we're gonna slide down. The two train are crossing the track. And letter Z is going across slide down going across and I tell them that letter Z and letter N is very very similar because if you were to turn letter Z this way it is letter N if you turn letter N the other way it is letter Z so go across slide down and go across and letter J is a little bit difficult because they often hook it the wrong way so no normally what I tell them is you go down and you make a hook to catch a big fish you can say it's a captain hook hook, 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 or you can say that you're just catching a fish. So I say, okay, let's make a stick, and now we're gonna go catch a big fish, like that. So I thought I got everything. Oh, and then we go A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
H I J K. I think I got all the alphabet. If I forget anything, please do forgive me. I'm trying my best over here. So once again, this is perfect for children who are just learning how to write the alphabet. All right. So the taller, uh, when they can start doing the the little circles, or when you can see that the little squibble has a little bit more control. What I mean by control is, when they're squibbling, they're not going off the tape uh, off the table. If they're going off the table, that means they're still trying to master controlling um the the pencil, the hand eye coordination. That's what it is, and. I always try to remember to get them to write to hold their uh, hold their marker properly. So normally, what I tell them is, "Hey, can you do this letter L?" Or just yum yum yum. Just make it fun for them. And then I say, "Just put your pen inside and that marker inside and start writing." And please give them markers when they're first learning. You will frustrate them if you give them pencil or crayons. Okay, marker is always the best way to go. If not, just uh, um. Uh, cookie cookie tray rice or flour whatever oh flour is a big mess so rice and just let them do it with their finger all right that's also fun i hope this helpful okay all right